Contestant number two, what's your worst date you've been on? Uh, where do I even begin? Well, uh, I grew up in Wakanda and the women there are all beautiful. But for me, there's no such thing as a bad date. Every date is different. There is such thing as a bad date. No, everybody is different in their own way. I, I, I don't think I've ever had a bad date. Just bad sex. Of course, sex can be bad. <laughs> Welcome back people to my channel. I want to do all this dating. You know something's trending on YouTube, right? All this dating, blind dating, six guys, one girl, ten boys, one girl, dating from body, and um, blindfold, different different channels are doing it. Let's get to react. I want to start reacting to some of them. So this six guys, blind dating, one girl, something. I think the most popular is side men videos on dating. They are Tinder date and they are seven or seven or so on or something like that. What would be the title of your Spotify sexy time playlist? I would say uh, from the top to the bottom. Because I'll start on top and you'll end up at the lowest point of your life after. <laughs> <laughs> What up YouTube, what's going on guys? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Put on the post notifications because I'm choosing two people who come. It's not a nail right there without freezing. I'm gonna follow this. First five. Who doesn't do what my mom did. This was last week's winners right here. Turn on the post I notifications. And yeah, let's get this started. Zach, tell us about yourself and what you look for in a woman. Hi, I'm Zach Justice, and I'm just kind of looking for a woman uh, who doesn't do what my mom did and get two divorces and ruin a family. You know what I mean? Because I just feel like there's no re there's no reason I should go to bed without a dad every single night, and then to do it twice just made no sense. So a stable home. Relatable. It's, it's okay. Let the tears out. Hi, uh, I'm Kevin. I was Zach's dad who left his mom and abandoned and crushed the whole family. So I'm looking for someone who's not like Zach's mom. But the way my mom screamed when he was in her made me feel good though. Yes. Because that's, I was like, my mom's finally happy. Yeah, right, right, you know? right. So it worked out for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. This guy works in Netflix, guys. Come on. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. This is the fucking star of the video? <laughs> hey, Was. What's up, we know? Funny, witty. Yeah, a big personality, you know? Just kind of, yeah. You trying to sign no, 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 no. You trying to like do it? Yeah. What? No. Look it up. Look it up. Big That's personality. You. That's you. Big personality and you know other assets. Oh, ass. 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 Oh. Okay. What's your perfect areola size? Um, you want like a medium size. Okay. <laughs> you just go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll, I might be a little more PG today than everybody else. My name's Hunter, and I want someone just like Zach's mom. <laughs> You want to get ran through by a man sitting to my right? No, I want someone just like. Oh, yeah. I yeah, want sorry. someone just like Zach's mom. Well, she's dead, so. It'll be quiet then around the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Oh, nice. <laughs> My name's David, and uh, I look for Grace. Ooh. I thought you said she wasn't fulfilling you emotionally. Fine, Grace's mom. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Is that making it better? You're just pre-ordering the milk, like you did. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, my name is Savage, and what I look for in a woman, I think, is uh, Zach's mom's grandma. Oh. Uh, she's definitely dead, but she's down to bone because that's all she is now. So. It's definitely tough. We're all looking for the same kind of girls. Just my mom. I'm ready to start. Bring them in. Hi, I'm Mitzi. I am 14 years old. And hey, yo. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm 21. I'm the only one who goes this way. <laughs> I'm 21. I'm just looking for a funny and nice, genuine guy. Okay, contestant number one. What's the worst date you've been on? Okay, this is how it happened. The night ended in a threesome. I'm just gonna say that. What? So I go to <laughs> what? We we have drinks. We have fun. I considered it a date. I go home because I was a little tired. And I come home, and we didn't have blinds in our front room. So I want to take a nap on the couch. I put a bunch of blankets over me so there's no sunlight would get in. I wake up to just like this heaviness on my chest. I'm like, what is going on? Like, am I having a heart attack right now? I don't know. And then I hear a moan. 
and it turns out that my roommate was having sex with the same girl I had drinks with earlier that day on top of me. Wait. Your roommate was having sex? They were having sex on top of me while I was under sheets on the couch in our front room. What? Swearsies. <laughs> I roll I roll them off, uh, butt naked people go flying, and my roommate has the audacity to say, dude, why are you cock blocking me? So that was my first threesome. But... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Did you join in afterwards? No. Have you ever heard of the term trauma? Yes. I'm dumping a hit on you right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, contestant number two. What's your worst date you've been on? Uh, where do I even begin? Well, uh, I grew up in Wakanda, and the women there are all beautiful. But for me, there's no such thing as a bad date. Every date is different. There's such thing as a bad date. No, everybody is different in their own way. I, I, I don't think I've ever had a bad date. Just bad sex. Of course, sex can be bad. <laughs> Horrendous, as a matter of fact, but let me paint you a picture. <laughs> you grew up in Wakanda? <laughs> yes. I love you guys' movies. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number two, I want to know if you're into black guys. Huh? Do you care if someone's black? Oh, I don't, I don't care at all. I have no type at all. Oh, because you said no. Sorry. <laughs> what? I'm saying I have no type. That's what I told you. You said no. Yes, you said no. I'm very confused. It's okay. He's very. Right. There's, a, there's a language barrier. Continuing parent. on, contestant number <laughs> three. Okay. Um, uh, Worst date. I got dinner, you know, and it was just straight up silence. It was just, I felt like I was pulling teeth and I was a f***ing dentist. <laughs> like a dentist. <laughs> All right, whatever, that day. It was like no words were spoken. She ends up leaving before the food comes. It did turn out she only knew sign language. She was kind of on hand. Ah, uh, yeah. He thought she was throwing up gang signs. Contestant number four, tell me your worst date. Well, it started bad because I had set up a date. I got stood up, which was not a great start. It really hurt. It was kind of a bummer because I'd never been set up before. And so experiencing that, I like doubted myself. And then I, as I'm walking back to my apartment, there's like honestly one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen outside my apartment. We start talking. We go upstairs, my room, I was renovating part of the room, like just repainting it. So I ended up in my buddy's room. We're midway through like hooking up and all of a sudden this guy starts pushing from under the covers. It's contestant <laughs> number one. Apparently I had been fucking on top of my roommate who is contestant number one and I was like, dude. He didn't finish while I was under there. <laughs> he didn't come close. I love this, I love this. Um, anyway, I love that's this. my worst so Like I'm just a rock truck. What has been my worst I don't even him. know, honestly. Oh, wait, I do. Um. <laughs> Contestant number two here, we don't care. <laughs> so, it was this a really out. cute guy. We had a lot in common. Time, we went out. When he invited me out, I looked up the bar thing, and we were going on the earlier side. The bar? Where huh? You we went to, like... <laughs> we went to this, like, restaurant bar, and I thought, like, okay, we're eating dinner oh, there. Was messed up. It was a restaurant bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's happening? All right, oh, anyways. Sex with each other, sorry. Okay, anyways, so I went. Five minutes later. <laughs> with his She's still talking. And they're all, yeah. And, <laughs> and I was taking <laughs> shots on the empty that stomach. That was contestant number two. <laughs> we all just want to say contestant number two. That was not me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is number six. Just know I'm listening the whole way. Don't worry. Okay. If you are listening, then retell the story. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Anyways, so I go out. I don't want to like let him down, let his like coworkers, like embarrass him in front of his coworkers. Yes, so I was just taking all the shots, and then I um, threw up all over his Uber and his new apartment. And then he ghosted me. Wow. No. 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 What? Just like what? Casper. That's crazy. Just like yes. Casper. What? Yes. Oh my gosh. No, dump him. You I got can't six believe that stand up guys over here. <laughs> I can't believe that happened like that. All right, contestant number five. Worst date. Wait, I just want to know, like, when's your birthday? March 31st. That's the worst day. Okay, that's good. That was good. <laughs> that's. You that like was that? Good. No, you that was like good. that? That was really punny. Uh, I like puns. Thank you, Mitzi. <laughs> I, I feel like we're having a connection here. Yeah. I feel like you like people that make you laugh, and I think I could be that guy. Yeah. Also, that's literally the worst date ever. Mixed feelings with that answer, but I think it's pretty funny. Um, contestant number six. Uh, my date. worst date, went to the bar, was having a drink, and we we're vibing. We got home. After we got done, I found out it's Zach's sister. 
Who? She was, she was recently yeah, deceased. Yeah, Zach is my brother, by the way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you say it was your brother's sister? Yeah, so he yeah. was having sex with his sister is what he's trying to tell you. He's oh, trying to open up right now. I'm from Alabama, from, by the way. Oh, I was going to say, are you from Alabama? Yeah, that, exactly. That famous Alabama accent. Why is it everybody? Oh, sorry. Just, is Alabama? Why is it like Seriously? Why is everybody shitting on Alabama when it comes to these things? Are they, are they in sexual or what? Like, what's up with the states? For crying out loud. Like, you have to say, like, I hate saying, like. I just want to say, I want to doubt number six's story, not to kind of put you under the bus, but he looks like a seven foot 11 year old. So <laughs> I don't know if he's allowed in bars. He's got the most baby face I've ever seen in my entire life. But he's cute, I will say that, he's cute. I mean, she did say she was 14. Yeah, years. you did say you were 14. 14 right? This is perfect. My favorite is number one. <laughs> my least favorite, three. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That adds up over here, by the way. Yep. <laughs> Um, contestant number two, what is your body count? In the streets or in the sheets? Sheets. To elaborate on that, he murders people. Oh, gotcha. okay, that's a good, that's a good answer. Thank you, I just want to help you. Good out. answer. No, I like that. Okay. <laughs> in America, so too many to count. It's zero, it's zero. So you can't count. I'm a virgin. <laughs> All right, contestant number three. What that's it? <laughs> Hmm? We are just going to move on like that? Yes. Define body count. Um, people that you have had sexual intercourse with. <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? What's, What's your, your body, body count? count? <laughs> <laughs> What's your body count? Um, 12. Okay. 12. That feels really honest, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, I don't think there was a bit there at all. Um, <laughs> Like, looking at him, I would say 12 for sure. Not bad. 12 is good. Solid number. I remember when I was 12. All right. Contestant number, are we on contestant number four? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you want to know what my body count is today or all time? T today? Today, one. Oh, wait, you mean like just, no, not like overall throughout your lifespan. Oh, 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 oh. Also one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Next contestant. What is your body count? Do hand jobs count? No. Okay. What if you're like dry humping with like sh like kind of like sweats on, but you come? That does not count. There needs to be a hu another human involved. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, so she thinks you're just fucking a pillow or something your sweats on and still coming. <laughs> she doesn't like your voice. <laughs> I don't do that, by the way. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> okay. Be honest. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Hello? He's counting on his fingers. Just give him a second. And now he's using our fingers. Holy fuck. <laughs> now he's fingering me. Ew. Moving on. Number six. What is your body count? Body count. How many guys is there? Can you count? In this group? Yeah. There's six. All right, so it's five. <laughs> okay. I see what you did there. You did That's fitness. funny. That was you? All right, contestant number one. What is Hi. your body count? Um, I mean, it's really hard to keep count because anytime I can open the flower of a mistress and feel the inside of a uterine wall, I, I don't even have the ability to count, to be completely honest, because I'm so excited to be there. Um, but if I had to ballpark it, more than uh, more than a couple, I'd say, because. So three. Three. I've been in more bushes than we've had presidents. I'll say that. Okay. There's been two bushes. <laughs> I would say my favorite was number six. Lee's favorite was number five. Ah. Rude. All right. Next question. Contestant number three. What's your <laughs> ick? What? What is your ick? <laughs> Like, like, you're like, you're like, like you're like, 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 you she What's redeemed your yourself. She just <laughs> knew that you were sucking this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, contestant number four. What's your ick? I don't like when people can't hear me. 
feel like he's being serious. <laughs> did you hear that? Well, I did not hear anything. <laughs> Maybe I'm just pass on know. this one because I don't even. No, want I want to know. I want to no, know. It's okay. No, what's your ick? I don't like when people can't hear me. What? You don't like people? You don't like people who just hear me? wait. Skip you don't like people me. Who it's hear not me. gonna work between us anyway. Did you say you don't like people who hear me? And then I ended up hearing you, so I'm your ick. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> okay, that, that's kind of a good answer too. That was that's pretty witty. Okay, um, what is your ick, number five? Hello. I you get impatience. <laughs> okay, you guys are really good at this. Like that, that was pretty good. <laughs> Test number six. What's your ick? Uh, loudness. Loudness. Wait. If, if <laughs> that wins, I swear to God. <laughs> I know. He said. He said his ick was loudness, so I have to be quiet now. Look at you joining in on the fun. <laughs> I got it. See. Yeah, I usually don't like when I'm in a relationship with a girl for your, for a year and a half, and then... Oh, this is gonna get personal. I mean, yeah, we break up, and then she ends up marrying one of my best friends years later, um, this last May. This last May, and I wasn't invited to the wedding. Um, we were actually formerly best friends before we started dating, so I always thought, I, if nothing else, I'd give a speech at her wedding. And it just seems like if I'm if I'm the guy that she didn't want to... All right, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. I see your little one. Nikes right. moving okay. around. Just, just sit take down. a seat, okay. take a deep breath. But it's actually true, though. Okay, number two, what is your ick? I got no good jokes on this one. <laughs> That's okay, why don't you just speak from the heart, big guy? Yeah, from the heart, I would say... Be genuine. Girls who don't appreciate things. If you're unappreciative, I don't like that. Okay, number six is my favorite. What the what? fuck? Oh. Dead ass? I thought it was funny, because then I went along with Loudness? it. Loudness? Yeah, you didn't catch it. She got quiet when I said it. She, so she really only liked her joke. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> she only liked her well, own it, joke. Yes. So part of the joke. <laughs> Says a lot. I could join Says in on it. I could join We're in taking on notes it. on this side, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then my least favorite was number one. Oh, Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was her least favorite, too. <laughs> Yeah, Mitzi, so you're gonna come out, we're gonna move around right now, and then you're gonna pick your, the guy you're most attracted to. You got to, the first one, there's two more, right? I'm gonna let you know who you were most compatible with and least compatible with. Should we move? Okay, come on. <laughs> What's happening? I'd go with contestant number four. Okay, so what do I do? Who are you most attracted to, physically? Um, not you. Come on, stop. You look like you're gonna burst Ew. a blood vessel. <laughs> Some would say that he's trying too hard. Oh, yeah, or that. Probably. Nice pants. Those are nice pants. Your fly's kind of down. I don't know if. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry to keep it in. It's okay. <laughs> um. Wow. Whoa, this Here we go. Hey, what? No, but now she's into me, so it's kind of. Uh, <laughs> that was the guy who said he's turned off his girls who are too into him. Oh. So now you're into him, and you kind of just lost him there. Oh, um, dang it. And just for funsies, who are you second most attracted to? Not you, not you. <laughs> All right, third. <laughs> <laughs> um, next you. Bryce Hall? <laughs> what? That's not Bryce Hall. Sorry. I'm, yeah, that's my brother. Actually. Bryce Hall, tall, tall brother. Bryce Tall. Linky. Bryce Tall. <laughs> Dude, put that as my app. <laughs> Bryce Tall. Is <laughs> your pop tag? All right, Joe. Who who is she most compatible with? Nice. He <laughs> <laughs> was just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, nice. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's. Now I'm kind of back in. Yeah. Now I'm kind of back in. That's the love of your okay. life that you just. So now it's like, now it works, kind of. Mi yeah. Yay, Mitzi! Yay! <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you for having us. I 
love you. <laughs> that was contestant number two. A little too early if you ask me. He's shy. Hi, my name is Lindsay. I'm 24 years old, and I'm looking for a man who is respectful, ambitious, has good banter, and a man of his word. I'll yep. see you guys. I'll take this one, y'all. I'll take this one. I got it. I got it. Wait, she's looking for a man? A man. I'm out. Okay, question number one. Can you speak up a little bit? Question number one. That was one. number two, by the way. It's kind of being disrespectful. <laughs> okay. Question number one. What would be the title of your Spotify sexy time playlist? Uh, oh. Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Baby Shark. Do. Is that contestant number one? Uh, if it was bad, it's contestant, it's contestant <laughs> number two. <laughs> uh, contestant number one would probably um, slap you down with some g Easy. You know, hit it from the back. Yeah, she repeatedly. said the name of the playlist. Oh. Contestant number one does oh, not sorry. listen. He doesn't listen, yes. Uh, that's my only flaw. Um, it would probably be slow and fast. It's about a medium build, yeah. Okay, like you build it up. Okay, I like that. Number two. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming out tonight and being here. We really value your time. Thank you. It's nice to be of here. Of course, of course. And the name of the playlist would probably be Top 50 United States Hits. Okay. Number three. Oh, I think mine would probably be like lo-fi beats to make love to. <laughs> <laughs> lo-fi beat? The math is there. Yeah, lo-fi lo beats to make love to, you know. It still has the same thumbnail as like the other lo-fi playlist, but... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do your homework, you gotta brush up on everything, you know. It's a lot you, of moves. You it's take notes. Moves. I take notes, I listen. Okay, I like a listener. Yeah, I'm like number one. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. Yeah. It's okay, number one, it's all right. Number uh, four? Yeah, number four. Uh, I would do... I don't mean to get you all moist, but probably Ed Sheeran. You sliding off your chair right now? It would be called Ed, Ed Sheeran? <laughs> you would just, it would be just Ed, Ed Sheeran. The name, of the, playlist. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> the name of the playlist is Ed Sheeran, but it's all R&B. Any Ed Sheeran songs in there? Or? No. No. <laughs> no Ed Sheeran at all. Number five. Um, I would say uh, from the top to the bottom. Because I'll start on top and you'll end up at the lowest point of your life after <laughs> <laughs> having sex with me. Okay. Then it's only up from there, though. Yeah, because it's only up from there. I feel for Grace. Number six, Carlos. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, one night stand. What? Damn. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're here for, number six? No. No, okay. But that's, you know, that's, it's just to get it started, you know? Because every night is going to feel like a one night. Because every night is going to be special. And at the end of it, you're going to stand up and give him a standing ovation. Okay. Yeah. I'm helping you out. <laughs> Thank that you. was number two helping him out, by the way. I like number two because I liked his intro. What? I liked that he thanked me for coming. <laughs> that Top was sweet. Top the America playlist? What the hell was that? <laughs> it's a variety. Oh, least favorite. Oh, the Ed Sheeran one. Oh, I was confused oh, for a second. That's the most successful guy here. That, that hurts. Yeah. Hey, man, what the hell? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was confused for a second. No Ed Sheeran, but called Ed Sheeran. Okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> you guys are making me nervous over here. I'm sweating. I'm already boxing right now. Question number two. What superpower would you have in bed? If you were to create to create a sex position, what would it be called? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> for part two. I'm gonna do part two reason. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, hit the buttons. Hit all the buttons and comment. Peace out.